Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today's pick a card, we're going to be doing what's my love life going to be like in the full time. So we have group number one, two, three and four and we're, going to, we're just going to take 10 seconds to uh, pick your choice and choose your group. Okay, let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So from the tarot we have the Two of Wands, the Empress, King of Wands, Chariot. And we also have the Hangman in reverse. So I really love this uh, group. It seems very, very kind of collective, a lot of different energies here. So. We also have Malachi Prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Unakite Answered Prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Amatrine. Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Fuchite. Healing Heart Chakra. We then have a fiery climax approaches. And we also have, look at the bigger picture. But you can also be connecting with a Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Gemini, or Capricorn. Those are all the signs we have for this group. Well, I said that really high. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with your reading. So I'm just gonna move these cards out the way just so we can see what kind of energies we've got going on here and then I'll bring them back in. Okay, so here we have someone very grounded coming in, okay? They are um, they could be either an earth, water, uh, or air sign. I'm not seeing fire. No, so earth, water, or air sign. Um, they love to kind of be very um, driven. So I do feel like you could be connecting with this person, or this person could be you, who's kind of in, this is basically the love life prediction. So it could be generally how you are interacting in your love life, doesn't actually have to be somebody new, and can also be, obviously doesn't have to be if you're single or not, can be if you're in a relationship also, or if you're not looking. But I don't think you'd watch this video if you weren't looking for love. <laughs> okay, so basically we have you are healing your heart chakra right now and i think unakai is very much connecting with the fuchsia and i suddenly oh i suddenly got really really hot so i feel like for you guys you are building up to a climax and you're starting to open up more in terms of love um i think you are pretty much going towards something really really good i think a lot of you have kind of i'm getting the vibe changed your brain so there's been like an opening for you guys and basically you've your whole life has pretty much changed since a certain occurrence and basically you could be connecting with somebody who is of a very much intense sign. I don't see them being a fire, it could be a fire sign because we've got Aries and Sag, so it could be pretty much all the all the signs. Um, but we do have fire here quite prominently. So I do sense that you, a, a fire and a, a water sign could be coming together. Um, See, so possibly if you are a water or fire sign. Um, we have fire climax approaches and look at the bigger picture. You could be traveling towards somebody, someone could be traveling towards you. Um, I sense that you're balancing your masculine and feminine energies, which is really, really good. I do see that being very successful and amazing, so I love that. Um, there's a lot of prosperity in terms of divine support, so you have got a lot, you've got a massive positive shift around you in terms of your heart chakra. For this group, I feel like you're not really kind of getting me meeting anyone too soon because I feel like you are pretty much healing yourself right now but you could meet someone who's very healing to be fair i feel like for some of you obviously this is a general reading so for some of you i feel like you could be meeting your person in terms of it could be a very healing um thing for you but for some of you it, it, there's not really someone very close to you right now because you are at the moment healing your heart chakra and that's the most important thing right now okay um and just balancing yourself out and kind of being uh, the single kind of girl guy that you want to be you know um and I see possibly you could be meeting somebody from a far off land. Uh, so it could be across the sea. Uh, could be somewhere in your country. Somewhere if you're possibly living in a country. Um, yeah, I see someone who is very much connected to spirituality. Um, I definitely feel like you guys are really going towards like a new start. Like a new kind of way of thinking. Which is basically turning around your whole 
um, love life and a fiery climax approaches is basically a guy coming in like in the um, moonology deck it says a man coming in if you're a guy who wants a girl it can be the exact same thing but in the book it says a guy coming in I'm pretty sure it does so like a new individual coming in so for some of you there is a new person coming in they are on the horizon and your prayers are definitely being answered your great work has like has not been un overlooked okay and um the door is opening for divine solutions and support for you so keep up the good work guys and i feel like you're doing really really well um and i feel like you're going to be very fruitful in the month of october as well okay so thank you so much for watching if this resonated please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below if this resonated then please let me know uh, in the comments i always love reading your comments if it doesn't resonate then you uh can just let it fly or choose another group um, also, if you would like to subscribe, please feel free. And I do private readings. So if you would like to uh, get a private reading with me, I'm doing 10% off all my readings. So um, check that out. Also, guys, I feel like you may meet a Sagittarius from far away. Okay, just I just got that intuitively. Uh, yeah, so I'll speak to you very soon. Uh, bye, guys. Oh, also, just to recap, your signs were Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Libra, Taurus and Virgo okay there you go guys hope that helps bye hi guys welcome back to my channel so for group number two let's see what you have in terms of your love life in the full time we have the full perfect start love that the full the devil oh my leaf's getting stuck there the devil the tower holy shit we have the five of swords in reverse yes I love it when that's in reverse <laughs> so exciting you then have the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I don't know if that's in the reverse, is it? Yeah, okay. It's in reverse. So let's have a look and see what else we have. We have Dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. We also have Calcite. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this, this busy time and honestly assess the underlying reasons for you being busy. We then have Selenite. Take time to breathe out. The end of a tough cycle approaches. <clears throat> a personal itches, issue. A personal issue reaches resolution. I, I, I thought I said a personal itches. Personal itch reaches resolution. We also have Cancerian, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. So you've got two water and two fire. So you could be a fire sign or a water sign. So this could be extra clarification, or this can be somebody you are connecting with. Okay. So I'm just going to put these cards out of the way for the moment and then we're going to have a look at these cards for now. And I'll bring those back in a minute. So for you guys, wow, holy shit. <laughs> you have been through a shit ton and I am feeling for you guys. I am feeling so strongly for you. Oh my God. I feel like your moon could possibly be in Cancer or Capricorn, by the way, guys. Just letting you know. Um, and also, when the moon is in, full moon is in Capricorn or the full moon is in Cancer, that could have been a time where things have changed for you. Or could be changing in the future um also basically guys i feel like you are have been very busy you need to stay strong in your faith because i feel like a lot of you are feeling like you're not going to get anywhere in love i feel like this group is the kind of the sad kind of not like you're not sad i'm saying like you may be feeling sad because you may think you're not getting anywhere and but basically guys you are you're doing the damn thing okay just take time out to breathe and relax you're going to be okay things are coming towards you okay meditation is going to be really really helpful for you in terms of your love life um for some reason they're just telling me clearing out the clutter so you could just be clearing out old wounds and that is pretty much why we've got the fall the devil on the tower they're like a massive massive change coming in for you guys you've got something really good and i'm so excited for you guys oh my god um this is like you feel like you're going backwards but you're not okay so the end of a tough cycle approach is like, fuck yeah, it really does. Like, the end of a tough cycle here, amazing, absolutely amazing, okay? Um, and then we have the fool, the devil, and the tower. So, you guys are really kind of getting in the nitty gritty stuff. Like, you've you've done the damn thing. You're either going through it, or you've done the damn thing. And when I say that you've done the damn thing, I mean that you have gone through so much rubbish. It's like, oh my god, I just want to break. I just want to be with someone. I just want to, like, in terms of guys who are single watching this people who are single watching this like you guys have gone through a lot and i'm feel i feel for you i can totally resonate with this group i feel like you are going to get peace okay you're going to find your love you're going to find your relationship in october um november december it's going to be beautiful for you guys even in september you can meet someone 
So stay strong in your faith because things are changing for you. Okay, your heart chakra is opening. I feel like rose quartz, calcite and selenite, citrine are all very good crystals for you to open your heart and to clear your energy. Um, to kind of get a fresh new energy for this person coming in. Um, because we want to clear out the old before we get the new, you know. Um, so basically, I feel like someone could have done you wrong. And basically, you are getting almost back at them now. Because you are doing really, really well. So they're almost in the dumps. They're like, oh my god, I shouldn't have left this person. I shouldn't have left you, you know. Like, I really wish I didn't do that. But now you're like, do you know what? I'm doing so much better. Like, I have done the damn thing. I've looked at my... Oh, sorry guys. I have looked at my energy and i'm thinking i need to change something there's a massive change coming you guys are really really doing the damn thing okay so for you guys you're getting your you're getting your love you're getting your end of your cycle and start of a new one guys it's gonna be absolutely amazing and yeah it's absolutely amazing so thank you so much for watching guys if this resonated please get a big old thumbs up comment down below i'm really excited for you guys i'm just seeing newness and just oh it's so intense and i love it my scorpio nurse is really lapping this up um <laughs> so thank you so much um if it resonates then please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below if it didn't resonate then just a little fly or choose another group just a reminder that we also have scorpio uh sagittarius leo and cancerian um and basically guys um i'm doing private readings and you can get 10 percent off my private readings if you would like them by the end of september uh that's when the the deal will end all of my readings even my love life readings my um hour readings they're all 10 percent off so if you would like to get a private reading you can do that you can also get a free crystal recommendation with any reading and yeah if you'd like to subscribe please feel free and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see what's coming for you in the full time in in terms of your love life so we have the nine of wands the hierophant the nine of swords oh sorry eight of swords three of swords let's move these along here and we also have the um eight of pentacles wow so you got two eights interesting no you got seven what is wrong with me today <laughs> you got nine eight seven okay right cool anyways moving on we then have aquarius uh what star sign that is we then have amethyst revealing your true self opal let yourself sparkle and shine watermelon tourmaline stress reduction angelite a spiritual or religious community we then have sorry it's made a weird noise with the cards <laughs> we then have turquoise balance throat and heart chakra and then we have nothing is yet set in stone, immutable, immune, muta. What is wrong with me in this group? <laughs> I don't know if it's the full moon. I don't know if it's the freaking Friday the 13th. But I don't know what is going on. Anyway, nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Okay, we're finally there. Wow, it's so bright on my screen. I kind of like it. I look kind of cool. Um, okay, so guys, let's have a look. Right, so. Whew. So for you guys, similar to group two, you're worrying that things aren't going to work out. In terms of the single people, I'm feeling like a lot of you are worried that you're not going to, not, you're not going to meet your person. You've been messed around a lot, but you are going to have some sort of reconciliation. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be reconciling with someone from your past. Um, you could also be, um, you want to be committed. I feel like you want to be committed you're committed to your work a lot of you guys you're really committed to your work you're committed to working on yourself um and you're all this group is very intelligent i feel like a lot of obviously that all groups are intelligent but i feel like for a lot of you guys you're mainly focused on the head aspect rather than the heart aspect um because i feel like there's a lot of head energy in aquarius is a lot to do with the head and kind of a psychology and things like that so I feel like for you guys, you are just genuinely worrying and overthinking. You possibly could be going through quite a tough time in terms of a, a person right now. It could be a partner who's really hurting you. It could be a, a person you're dating who just is not telling you anything. I feel like that is pretty much accurate here. Um, and it's time to basically balance your throat and your heart chakra and tell this person how you really feel. Um, and basically nothing is yet set in stone so whatever's happening in terms of anything bad it's not it's going to change guys it's going to get better um and nothing is yet set in stone so if you are kind of confused about anyone you're dating right now you're confused about possible relationship you're in i feel like the more you work harder on yourself and you focus on this heart energy and this blockage i don't actually feel like it's a blockage actually i feel like you're very aware of it i feel like it's just kind of working on 
um, your heart and kind of being really, really kind to yourself. Yeah, I'll take that back. It's not a blockage. I feel like it's more about you being aware of it, okay? Because it's not really blocked. It's more like just there's something that's kind of in the works, okay? So I don't feel anything stuck, actually. But I do sense there's just an overthinking energy here. And you possibly could not want to love. For some of you guys, you may not actually want to love. You may be very stuck on kind of a com committed to yourself because you've been messed around so much that you're like i don't actually want to be committed but i do want love but i'm scared you know um and i feel for you guys i feel for you really really strongly and what's really important in terms of this balance here and revealing your true self it's really really important really really <laughs> really important for you to express yourself wholeheartedly in terms of expression with your voice with your communication and as it says, as you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. That is stunning. I love that. That's all to do with your intuition as well. So really feel into um, your intuition. Guys, this, this group is really making me like flow because I'm, I am feel like I nearly needed to sneeze. I did a little burp. Like, guys, you, pro you guys are proper flowing. Okay, you may feel like you're stuck in your head, but you guys are really flowing. Okay, this group is flowing. I love it um so we've also got let yourself sparkle and shine very 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 similar to revealing your true self you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world which is absolutely stunning and i love the fact here that both we have the heart and the third eye chakra or crown chakra really 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 getting in there in terms of um accepting what's going on and kind of and really trying to focus on what what can we do about this situation you know i feel like for you guys you, I mean, that's kind of a given that you come here for advice and guidance. But I feel like a lot of you guys are really, really focused on helping yourself. And I'm very, very proud of you for that. Um, and if you're not helping yourself, it's very, very important for you to really be aware of these thoughts and to possibly meditate and kind of balance out um, how you really, really feel. Okay, it's very, it's very, very important. And I feel like these two are very, very similar cards. It's almost like letting it flow with the waves, just letting it flow and kind of, I'm feeling like a cold breeze and like a fresh air. And it feels really nice. Like it feels like a new, a new energy coming in for you guys to help you through this. Okay. Um, so we have stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body and schedule as you need rest. Reach up. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body and schedule as you need to rest, recharge and revive. Angelite, spiritual or religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So in terms of the third eye here and the crown shock and they're really being open, it's like, ah, oh, like you're getting downloads. You're possibly getting quite a lot of synchronicities in terms of the number three, uh, seven, eight, nine, and one. Very much so, like I'm really feeling that, especially number three, very, very, very strong energy right there. Very potent, like it just feels, it's like so like yummy. It's like really ready to shift. Um, and for you guys, it's really important for you to de-stress and to join with like-minded people who can really support you through this time. Because I feel like for you guys, it's very important that I feel like actually for you guys, I feel like for a lot of you, um, you want to just kind of go out on your own. You want to kind of make it on your own. But actually, you need to have some assistance. <laughs> Sometimes you need to have assistance. Obviously, you don't have to. But if you feel the need to, definitely do it. Don't feel embarrassed to get assistance. So I hope that helps guys. I can definitely see a lot of flow, a lot of water kind of coming in. So a lot of emotions probably going to be heightened during the month of fall, but you are definitely moving forward. Keep working on yourself. You're doing a really, really good job. Stress reduction and revealing your true self is extremely important. So do the damn thing. Get it done, bitch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if this resonated, please give a big old thumbs up, comment down below. And also if you'd like to uh, get a private reading with me, I'm doing 10% off. All, all the way throughout September. I'm doing 10% off love readings, off any any reading that I'm doing. Um, so if you'd like to get a private reading, please feel free. I'm also doing a free crystal recommendation for every single reading, so I can recommend you a crystal to help with your situation. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Love you. Bye! Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading and to see what's happening during the full time for, in love for you. So we have the three of cups. Magician, I thought that might have been in reverse, so just letting you guys know. I might flip it over though, depending on how I feel. The magician, we have the three of wands, and we also, oh, sexy, yes, ace of cups, yes, 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 love that. We have Aries, stunning, look how stunning that is. She's fully in her empress energy, look at that, that is so cute, I love it. Oh my god, so pretty. And then we also have communication is key. Angelite, angels, throat and crown chakra. Is there a card underneath this? 
No, don't know why I thought that. Um, value your self-worth, spiritual protection and make time for self-care. Right, so you guys, I feel like you guys need to have a bit more fun, okay? I feel like you've been a bit too serious, possibly working too much or just, yeah, I feel like you guys need to have more fun. If you can, get out more in terms of like hanging out with friends, um, doing something for yourself, like go for a bike ride, go for a run, go for a walk. You know, it can be like the most smallest thing, like treat yourself to some nice food. Um, I think that's going to really, really help you in terms of your love life. It's going to help you to, to like bring up your mood. There is someone coming in, okay? You are fully ready in terms of your emotions, guys. You are fully ready, okay? So we have Angel's Throat and Crown Chakra. I might have a little look about this, uh, cr this crystal because for some reason there's some message in there, I think, for you guys. And I feel like it's very much connected to communication. So I feel like you're going to be communicating with someone new. Oh, this is so sexy. I love this. It's like a very sexy light energy. It's like, I'm ready. You guys have chosen this group. You guys are so ready. My legs just did a really nice tingle then. That was so nice. So I feel like you guys are fully ready. And you are using this harvest moon to really get kind of the goods. Okay. So I'm seeing like all this harvest around here. We're like celebrating. And we have like a little pumpkin. So definitely in the month of October, you're really going to be feeling this. Um, the reason why I've put this in reverse is because I feel like you may need to just have more fun. I feel like to actually bring more of this in, have more fun, guys. You know, if you can, when you can get the time. Also make time for self-care and to value your self-worth, okay? It's very, very important to do that and to know that you are extremely important and your love life can wait, you know? Like, you don't have to basically manifest, manifest, manifest because at the end of the day, if you're valuing yourself, that's all that matters, guys. Like, you will manifest this when the time is right, you know? This person could be coming from a far-off land or you can meet this person travelling. Um, this person is a new person, 100% if you are single. In a, if you're in a relationship, I do see a new opening for you guys. So that could be like you going on holiday, you could be having a nice discussion that's very out of the blue. Um, your partner could do something very, very nice for you if you possibly been in a relationship for a long time. Even if you're a new relationship, um, I feel like it could be just an outpour of emotions. For you guys, if you're in a relationship already, I feel like you could be ascending to a new level of commitment. Um, because I feel like there's an opening, you know, as I'm just getting like a door opening, like a really big, nice, big opening, like very like clear, like the universe is clearing the way for something new to come in. Yeah, hundred percent. Like my leg just did a massive tingle then. So clearing the way for you guys. Um, yeah, communication is key. So communicate to how you really feel, you know, and this person who's coming in is going to really communicate how they feel. They don't have to be an Aries. They can actually be a water sign. Um, yeah, I'm seeing water and fire here. So if you're looking for a water or fire sign, that is absolutely perfect. Or you could be a water or fire sign. Um, but yeah, as I said, taking care of yourself is very, very important. And it's really, really important for you to um, protect yourself uh, energetically in terms of your spirituality. So if you're a very sensitive person, very, very important for you to protect yourself. But you're also being protected by your guides. It says you are being watched over and protected physically. Sorry, physically. <laughs> Spiritual protection, you are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So definitely 100% on all levels. Um, and value your self-worth. I love that this gem is coming through. It's like the universe is recognising how important you are. Obviously, you are important anyway. But you are getting like... like you've been through the crap, guys. You've been through a lot of crap. And it's a long, a long, a long lot of crap, okay? Um, also, for you guys, you can be Gemini. Um, but what I'm saying is you've been through a lot of crap, but now it's actually your turn to get ready and get started on your new love life. It's freaking amazing. Okay, so in terms of, uh, what am I doing? Angel light. I was going towards Aries. It wasn't what I was doing. Angel light. Let's have a look at that. Where is my book? I'll look at my little book. There it is. Okay, let's have a look. Number two, which is about partnership which is perfect okay so i'm getting very excited can you tell um <laughs> right angelite angels throat and crown chakra you have been drawn to angelite because the angels want you to know that they love you and would like to communicate with you on a more regular basis yeah communication is key love that and also we've got spiritual protection which is absolutely amazing i love that so much your angels send you messages and signs to let you know that they are with you look out for these signs you may find a white feather or a coin with a significant year on it. Or you may see a bird, a butterfly, or dragonfly which hovers near you or tries to get your attention. Know that you are not alone. The angels and the universe will provide all that you need. All you need to do is ask and have faith. Talk to your angels by asking and praying for whatever it is that your heart desires. It is easy to talk to your angels. You do not need to speak out loud. You can talk to your angels in your mind anytime, in any place. 
Angel light is also a crystal for communication. It helps you to speak your truth. If you have something important to say to your angels, uh, sorry, let me say it again. If you have some, something, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have something important to say, your angels can help you to communicate the right words with love and compassion. Perfect. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we've got. Communication, communication, and we've got love. Perfect. I'm so excited for you guys. Do you know what's funny as well? As it said about um, butterflies. Um, my one of my friends, she actually saw butterflies in her car and I got a moth on the back of my arm yesterday, which is really fun. It was circling around my room and it landed on the back of my arm, which is so weird because I got a caterpillar on my back the other day and I'm really, I, they freak me out. I love them, but they freak me out. It's just so freaking weird. Like if you guys are noticing any like animals coming towards you, I'm definitely seeing that. So if you guys are noticing that, definitely comment that down below. I'm very, very interested to know. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If this resonated, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Please subscribe if this resonated. If it didn't resonate, then that's fine. You can choose another group or just let it fly. Uh, I'm doing 10% off all my readings, especially my love readings. So if you'd like to get a private reading, all the information is down below. And I am also offering a free crystal recommendation for you guys as well. So thank you so much. Uh, that crystal recommendation also applies to all of my readings. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.